Hi everyone, I've got a little story for you from Joseph Murphy, The Cosmic Power Within. So, it goes like this. It's from page 193. He said, this is my fifth divorce, what's wrong? A man apparently in a state of depression asked me to throw some light upon his mental problems because as he said, I have married five times successfully, hoping to get a good wife, and now I want a divorce from my present wife. I thereupon emphasized the cosmic law of mind and pointed out that the law of his mind is absolutely just and imminently fair in its manifestations. Example, it is the nature of an apple seed to bring forth an apple tree. Likewise, it is the law of life that man invariably invariably and inevitably reproduces all the phases of his life, the exact duplicate of his inner nature. As within, so without, as in heaven, mind, so on earth, body, circumstances, conditions, experiments, not experiments, experiences and events. I believe I cleaned up the obscurities in his mind through clarification of the way his thoughts and feelings operated in his life. He came to perceive clearly that it is impossible for a man to think, feel and believe one thing and then to experience something other than what he thinks feels to be true. I told him that if you picture failure and feel yourself defeated, you can possibly, you cannot possibly express success and triumph over obstacles. The law is considered not only good, but very good because your experiences dovetail, dovetail and correlate with your inner attitudes and beliefs. He said to me, I see now that the divorce is not the answer. It is not the solution for me as I long, as long, I'm trying to read too quick. <laughs> As I continue the patterns of jealousy, anger, fear, and possessiveness, I must change myself. I have been accusing my wife falsely. And now I know that my imputation of wrongdoing and recriminations were projections of my own guilt, fear, and insecurity. He had come to a wise deduction because he could have divorced his present wife and married another and he would have repeated the same dreary pattern of jealousy, accusation, self-pity, depression and suppressed rage. He began to affirm frequently during the day. I know I cannot think of two things at the same time. I know that two objects cannot occupy the same space at the same time. I can't have thoughts of love and resentment at the same time. Whenever I think of my wife, I stated positively from now on, God loves and fills her soul. I radiate peace, harmony and goodwill to her. Our marriage is a spiritual union. I am one with God and with all people. I know I make my wife's life full, complete and wonderful. Only that which belongs to love, truth and wholeness can enter into our experience. His wife didn't really want a divorce, but she was tired of his false accusations, allegations. She was delighted to hear he had become interested in the science of the mind and was uh, raptured over his spiritual transformation. They are both using the law now in the right way. So ask yourself, is there someone in my life that I'm doing this to? Am I projecting my own guilt, fear, insecurity? Am I projecting that onto someone? Who is it? Who am I doing that to? So if I am doing that to somebody, let's see if I can, like Dr. Joseph Murphy did, the little treatment in the book for this gentleman. So perhaps use what he wrote as a little template. If you have got any issues with someone and you're projecting anything onto somebody and you keep going over and over the same stuff, Let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. Change what you project out. Remember the law of assumption, what you assume, then the law of projection, what goes out as a projection energetically, and then the law of attraction photocopies it and brings it back as an experience. And like he said, the bit that I liked, I cannot think of two things at the same time. So I can't think thoughts of love 
and resentment at the same time. So train your mind to have thoughts of love. Train your mind to have thoughts of that person. Uplift your own self. As you do that, then the transformation takes place on the outside. And I know many of you have got a handbrake with certain people, a specific person, an ex, a boss, a family member. Who is it? So change the projection. Lots of love. Joseph Murphy. There's a little Joseph Murphy playlist I've already started, so I'll put the rest of those down below.